In this video, together with Bianca, a lovely lady who is an owner of uh, Water Reginald, the oldest leather merchant in London, guided us through the leathers which we use in a garment construction, which leathers are right to use in a garment construction, and what type of leathers we have. <music> Bianca <laughs> and we're gonna talk today about sheepskin and all furry friends which yes. they are wool so it's not really fur it's our wool skin absolutely. absolutely right so we've got a selection here of different types of shearling uh, so by shearling we mean sheepskin that's another way of saying it um, or really it's lambskin with the wool on um, so kind of going from the curly effect to the straight hair so i thought we'd uh, have some sort of, sort of rhythm routine rhythm. here yeah, routine. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to have here this is mongolian sheep so beautiful. really beautiful it's got this really long lovely quite popular color. on the pillow isn't it it's really popular for home decor um but also for collars yeah so what you can do is you can cut it down you can make a collar you can turn it's it nice around nice one to work with yeah. and give it some extra kind of volume now, i literally made a coat in a red one oh, like whole coat you can make a whole coat that yeah. would be amazing um it's really important to know about these um these are what's called a plate yeah. so the plate standard size is 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters but on the back what that means is it's lots of pieces that have been stitched together so you can see lots of seams here some are a little bit irregular it's not even stitched in a, in a particularly like ordered yeah, fashion yeah. it's pieces um so it's actually a mongolian plate so obviously when yeah. you're cutting it that needs to be kind of thought about yeah. how you're going to make your place your pattern etc yeah actually i didn't find any problem with them being stitched like that when i was cutting my what is always important you're looking where the wool falls right yeah that that's what you would pay attention the the stitching here actually doesn't really bother much if you would manage that you're cutting through you can always put the piece of fusing to reinforce it that yeah. it's not gonna undo itself sure you know to, for, to security just uh, in mind but uh, they're very easy to work with i have to say i found them easier than actually sheepskin okay you know down the line marino or toscano it, okay. is, it is easier Perfect. also because it's easier to shave the hair by scissors and if you need the space for seaming but no they're amazing too to use for garment construction and coats and jackets or bolero so yeah absolutely. you can go with it <laughs> <laughs> um so um you know an alternative then you've got the mongolian um but an alternative to that would be something like the tigrado so tigrado tigrado so oh, again I heard of that it one. has Ooh. it has this natural curl um it's quite dense the wool um and it's, soft, isn't it's it? really it's soft. soft cute yeah it's really <laughs> lovely um Obviously, you can make anything you could be doing again, just collars, yeah. you could do the full coat out of it. Oh, wow, well, look at that. Right. Back. It's been dyed through. So, yeah, that could be your right side of the garment with lapels just showing a bit of fur. So, yeah, for gilets and Absolutely. again, coat and jackets. Amazing. Oh, it's beautiful, sweet finish. Yeah, and it's a lovely sweet finish. And I mean, this, for example, was matched to a tiny piece of fabric that the customer had bought in. So the good thing with this, and it's not such a huge quantity, so for maybe 150 feet, um, which is, I don't know, maybe... 20 15, skins? 15 to 20 skins, yeah. um, you be you could actually have, you know, your own garment, your own colour. Oh, that's specific, amazing. At least it's like a bespoke so, service. So you can can get that bespoke service Absolutely. for anybody. So yeah. that's nice to know Absolutely. that Walter Reginald does... Um, these skins for you to your color that's absolutely right um so these ones are on turkish um domestic in their town in turkey um oh, so, so yeah right. so i mean that's what they start out is actually like this this is the natural oh so this is how they are obviously you can see that they have this kind of uh patch of dark and light uh so obviously first of all they have to make sure that the ones they're choosing to dye have predominantly white mm -hmm. but they are natural um so they then have to be bleached and then they are dyed all oh, right so they bleach the black so they, but pieces. they do but it probably doesn't show up but sometimes you can notice on certain colors especially lighter colors you may okay. get a slight undertone in certain places so it's just something yeah, to bear in mind again, again thinking about how you would cut your piece you know like whatever 
pattern you have you're not going to cut them here anyway isn't no it? and also um you know if you're going to have the reverse out it yeah. doesn't matter because it's a it's a you know, exactly glimpsing exactly. the color yeah, of the yeah. inside yeah, exactly. um, but it's just something to kind of bear in mind and, and think about there um i mean the what they do oh. with these so all of these ones here our straight haired ones these are toscana yeah so the toscana very, is a very very very, very, popular, very long now isn't very it? classic look and this has been straight oh, this 15 16 years oh, going on long longer? time long time yeah um but this is the tagrado and it's straightened so it begins like this ah so this is and then it's straightened and okay. so this gives us this lovely luxurious very kind of foxy look isn't yeah, it like look like it is a bit like foxy. Fox. Yeah. it is it is a little bit like that you know these ones specifically here have been finished for their for the collar are they so, so beautiful you know what happens when you have collar Mind you, that's wool yeah that's not fur no that is wool it's still the wool and it means that you know if you want to have either oh, fur out that's where it's or obviously if you want to have the fur in then you can have it like this the suede finish on that is amazing on both like basically why i love sheepskin as you know as a material to work with is that that it can be used both sides it's like basically you can have a wrong side and right side right yes. side wrong side doesn't matter you can go with your uh, you know design whatever you want and look beautiful whatever you think and as you can use. see with this one actually because you can even have a different color yeah. on the reverse to the exactly. wall exactly um and actually on those ones there thank you um on these ones so what you can also do is have a, a spray so oh, it yeah, has a is. napper finish even though it's on the flesh side it's a napper spray so it means that if you still want to have the fur on the inside but you want to have that protection and not have a suede on the outside yeah. then you've got that option as well exactly um so you can either have, go for like a full napper effect or alternatively um this one for example it's just a light spray so it doesn't really have the full napper effect but what you've got there is just oh, a yeah, kind of spray is, that still yeah, protects yeah, the suede yeah. yeah so yeah it's amazing because then it takes weather better, yeah? If you're gonna go to the snowy countries where the snow yeah, is, or exactly. even rain, yeah? Exactly. And that is not gonna damage that skin as much as the suede would get damaged. Exactly, that's right. So so that is uh, worth it to consider when you're planning to design something in sheepskin. What what you want sheepskin for? If that is on the collar, do you want a gelée? And gelée never gonna be worn outside to get water, so then it's suede is okay as a finish. But then if you want like, proper garment to be able to wear as an outer garment exactly. then then the coated one would be more recommended isn't yeah, it yeah definitely yeah definitely so and that's so that's toscana so we've got tigrado which is the curly then the toscana which is the straight hair uh this one here so this is like a snow tip so as you can see it's yeah, like it's, it's kind of light on the top so this is also called brisa so it can brisa. be snow tip or brisa it's the same thing and then on here so you can see you just got a little bit more kind of effect, effect and character yes. because silver, you've got silver with a black there. Exactly. So the black is in the base, and then you've got this kind of tipping on it. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, and the other side is suede as well. And right? the other side suede. suede. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then there's this Toscana as well, like. And that's Toscana. Uh, yeah, Toscana. So when you have that sort of straight, long, kind of luxurious yeah, hair, yeah. that's on the Toscana. Toscana. Um, so another way of um, having your your hair, the straight hair here, we've got our merinos. So there's two ways that we can get the merino wool um we either have it straight hair or curly hair so um on these ones this is a straight hair merino yeah so you can tell it's still got that luxury sheepskin feel but it's mm. much shorter in hair so it hasn't got that very long yeah but it's like more dense isn't it's it? much it's more, more dense. dense um this one again has had this kind of spray yeah nap effect yeah. back um so again if you wanted to have obviously this on the outside so it's good for outerwear for it's the great for jackets, outerwear yeah. exactly and this would be more for your kind of flying jacket flying jacket yeah no, that was so, like i was thinking as a flying yeah like jacket, a men's yeah. kind of flying jacket women's flying jacket it yeah. gives you that kind of it's got a little bit more body to it and yeah. uh, you know you can really kind of have it have some creativity with that one um and this is also another type of merino but this one obviously burgundy dyed through That's and with that napper back as well to match so you know you can either have it tone tone so tone tone would be tone Tone Don't matching top would be the same color as a reverse, or you can have kind of different colors. Yeah, yeah contrasts. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes you can have a contrast, which is nice as well, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Um, and these are actually merino but curly haired merino. So this is that kind of natural curly hair, that sort of teddy look that's been really popular these last <laughs> yeah, couple of years. Teddy look, so that's you nice, know, so, isn't it? And that's and likewise you can have it either. So you can have a suede. suede out, 
wallflower around that depending on, on what you're looking for. That um, one is the same as in the, the cover. Same. But with this one, again, we've got that tipping, we've got that snow tip. Snow tip again, yeah. Yeah, yeah a yeah. little bit like which we saw with the Toscana. You've got a deep brown base with that kind of snow tip on the top of it. So again, just different options. And yeah. then with this one, lastly, we've just got our lining. This is our sheepskin lining. So actually, you can do anything you want on the outside and then line it with the sheepskin because really on the back, it's quite neutral. Um, sometimes it can be quite inconsistent because actually these ones haven't been dyed for the They're natural. Out. Them, They're yeah. natural. Mm. Um, so for these ones, you'd be looking at really using the um, wool inside and then having as a lining. One, as a lining. So you could actually build up whole shell from leather, from yeah. like napal leather, exactly, and then line it with a with a sheepskin. Exactly. But obviously, you know, you have to be careful with stitching because when you're coming to stitching. Um, generally it'd be like with the then then I would stitch. recommend the yeah, first stitch on that use for a machine but you can fake that on the zigzag machines oh right interesting yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that in the other videos that how you joining um, kind of woolly of fur right. uh, leathers with a bit of fur on it using actually domestic machine funny ah. enough because not everyone is gonna be in possession of fur uh, machines. No. This is a very specialized machine. Exactly. So then, and yeah, but sometimes you can. There are techniques to basically use use that still and look nice. Perfect. Thank you, but Bianca, for sharing your amazing knowledge about the letters you've got in your warehouse, and. We welcome everybody to come to Water Regional in London. Got amazing news for our viewers. Yes, yes. anyone that wants to contact us uh, to buy some leathers, we're offering a 5% discount. If you quote YT21, when you're ordering, you can do that through um, the website, waterregional.com. You can email us at info at waterregional.com. Uh, we're on Instagram and all the socials. Um, so any way that you want to contact us, you're welcome. And we're more than happy to send out cuttings um, and give you any further information that you might want to know. Uh, yeah, Bianca is lovely to talk to. She's very passionate. So yeah, ask, fire up the questions and ask about that discount code. And <laughs> I'm going to give you all details under the video. And thank you so much for watching.